Now, I didn't check the first one. Oh, it's garbage? You got an unfortunate smoothie? <laughs> oh, I want my money back. That's your fault. What? Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Last episode, we moved along in our pursuit of the desert, leading us to, uh, you know, exactly that. Specifically the Gerudo Desert, where today, we're, we're gonna do something? We got a cutscene here? What's happening? Cacti! Oh, Gerudo Desert. Proper. Look at that! We get a little title screen. I do enjoy it and appreciate it. And there's an oasis? Okay. How far away are we from that? Maybe this is where we're going to learn how to make the drinks that have been referenced a time or two before. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here, but this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we could check out the area with the biggest rift. Yeah, sure! We could also check out this guy, because he looks like he's got a spirit! And I want to get near it. You will be mine. Slay him! Thank you, Danielle. Alright, what do we got here? Scorpion? Of some sort? The Araroda. It's Aaron! Very good. Thank you, Aaron. What is your cost? Uh, three? No, it's two. Oh, look at that. Wow. We've got only two, only two threes. Daniel's one of them, so Daniel will stay with us for now. Let's go north. I know it looked like the oasis was to the west, but I want to... Ooh. See, I want to explore. Look at this. We got stuff to see. How about a table? Build it up for me. Um, I'm gonna have to double table. Look at that. <laughs> Stop. Table time. Can we like? Oh no! I was hoping we could we could bounce out and then spot another one. Didn't work that way. Didn't work that way. It's fine. We can. Oh god. What are we doing here? Not the proper thing. Clearly. <laughs> uh, there is. Oh god. Nope. We've screwed the noodle already. Lift this. Oh. oh, Jiminy freaking Christmas. We're gonna figure this out one way or another. I promise. I promise maybe. There we go. See, I told you. You should believe me. Let's go in the cavern. Maybe we can get ourselves a piece of heart. At the very least, we get ourselves a new friend. Danielle. Get down there, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Um, that's a bouncy friend. <laughs> yep, there you go. Well done, Danielle. I'm gonna just go up here. I'd like for you to slay that thing, because maybe we'll be rewarded for its death. That does happen sometimes. But it looks like it's gonna be actually kind of problematic for you to, to slay, given its bouncy nature. There we go. In the corner. Hit it. Nice job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like a friggin' ping pong. Uh, over here, Danielle. You got it. You're a little slow. Maybe I should use someone else. There we go. That's three, and that's still not good enough. My goodness gracious. Fourth time's the charm, huh? Potentially, at the very least, Danielle's not taking any damage herself. Very good. <laughs> that was convoluted. You learned the Caramadillo level two. Oh, so that's news to me. You get levels. Carrie has upgraded. What is the requisite for that? It's three. Now, we still get access to the level one, Carrie. Fascinating. I'm guessing this one's just stronger? I guess we'll figure that out later. Oh, hey. We've been locked. Great. Yep. Bash against each other. Please and Ah, don't bash against me! I am the one that should be bashless, don't you see? Oh, my God. Oh, God. We are perishing. I do not wish to perish. <laughs> Please and thank you. Get, get, get that one. He's right there. Oh, you missed. Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> there you go. Do it again. Again. There we go. Sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. And by matters, I mean your friends. Just pick them up and throw them. Good things will happen. Or you'll get arrested. Or both. Or both. What did we get as a reward? We got a spiky watermelon. Ten pieces of chili cactus can be used to recover hearts, but more effective in a drink. So many ingredients. So very many ingredients. Now, wait a minute. The sand piles are interesting. I don't think we have anything to blow sand, though. Like, the Octorok, I always I want them to, like, do blows, but the Octoroks do, do not do the blowing. Uh, I don't think we actually have anything here. Hmm. I bestow meat upon this room as a symbol of my displeasure. Now we will leave and come back again, potentially, if we do ever get something for that. Something like a wind bag or something like I, I Some capability of blowing. Alright, it'll therefore be showing us a new 
Direction. Oh, look at this. Meat. Ha <laughs> ha, the meat destroys tumbleweed. Look at these fang fellas. What's happening? The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that's a big rift. So start shrinking. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. What's happening with Gerudo Sanctum? Rifts have shown up all over the desert ever since the Sanctum got pulled into one. I'm still in shock about the Sanctum. We've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. Is that up here? No? This this direction? Possibly? Looks like this is actually the only direction we can go. There's another Scorp friend. Don't want to touch him. He will sting me. And it's not necessarily something that I'm keenly interested in. But I'm interested in this fella. Little sandfish? What is this? Go get them, Carrie. Carrie, get the fish. Oh, look at how it hungers. It hungers for Carrie, and I say no. You must perish. Get it. Get it, Carrie. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Carrie. <laughs> we got to bash it. Very good. Now claim it as my echo. What do we got? You learned the sand piranha echo. Very good. Aptly named, in fact. The most intuitive of them all. Going upwards, this looks like this is the sanctum, or at least kind of where the sanctum should be. Potentially. I wonder if we can get up there. Probably. Or maybe not. Who's to say? But it doesn't look like that's what the game really wants us to do, so we'll continue downward and leftward in an effort to reach that oasis that we briefly saw in the little introductory cutscene for the area. I'd very much like to buy something. My god, this is devoid. The whole place is very barren, isn't it? Got birds. I like birds. What's up, birds? Be doing bird things. This is a shark-shaped void. And this is for me! Pull it out! Ultra hand that. Thank you. And... Oh, is that a re-dead? You got more more cacti, but hold, there's a re-dead! Not as scary as they used to be. Very good, especially when you can just smack them with your balls. There you go! All of my ball friends for you! There you go. And there's a piranha. I don't want the piranha, but I want this guy. Very good, he's got a piercing too. He's very fashionable. The re-dead echo. Delicious, very slow. The re -dead. oh, that's my friend, sorry. I was about to slay you, but that's me for you. And this is also mine, except for this re-dead. He gonna squeal at me. No, balls for you, re-dead. Because you are gonna be dead again, like your friend. Putting the re-dead into re-dead, you get it? <laughs> oh, that makes sense, right? In some capacity. And twenty dollars. Very good. Excellent. Indeed, actually, is the best way to put it. Uh, get the scorp. No. Nope. Let's just get the save place here. Fast travel, actually. Excuse me. Love it. So we are on the cusp, on the precipice of the massive friggin' chasm. Oh, oh my god. We've been. Oh, hello. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Very good. Ooh, we're going to Chili's. What is that? At a jalapeno. A warm pepper, not to be confused with a hot pepper. A key ingredient in Gerudo cooking, but you can't use it in its current form because you get a stomachache. And that's a... Oh, there's a, a demon bubble. No, don't scream at me. Give me anxiety, don't you see that? Oh, gee, Willicky, you're so inconsiderate. That, that he, he says as he kills the thing. I'm gonna kill this fish, too. It's just kind of moseying around right there. Yep, gotta get you, I'm sorry. You're busy existing in that spot, and I... Oh, gross. And I said no. Oh, but what about this? A little cavern for me. A respite. A little bit of it, at least from the depths. Okay. Upward. Hmm. I have to imagine that we're going to get blown off. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, well, how about... We'll get on top of Matthew. No, no, no. Oh, Matthew's not heavy enough. What about Danielle? Danielle looks heavy. Yeah, Danielle's heavy. Let me get on top. Dan, 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 Danielle. Jiminy Christmas, Danielle. Get back up here. I must mount you. I must mount you. Why can I not mount Danielle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Onward. No, Danielle, you're too... You're too mobile. You're jumping and stuff. I want... I want... Can I... Oh, see you later. Daniel's like, I want nothing to do with giving you a piggyback ride. You know what? There's probably a better way to do this. In fact, I could just, like, do this. Why not? Uh, oh, God. That perhaps isn't the best way to do it, but it's working. Right? It worked. Are the boxes perhaps heavier? 
God, no. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, but no. Let's, let's bed it up. Oh, the bed is nice. Look at that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like that. The bed gives me comfort in more ways than one. Learn this. What type of pottery? More ceramics, the Gerudo Pot Echo. Uh, view the notebook. Tell me what's different. A fine pot with vibrant colors to catch the eye. It's typical in Gerudo culture and has been for ages. Uh, anything else interesting here? I suppose we could use a trampoline. May have allowed us to jump over those streams, but it's fine. So, the only difference between the level 2 and level 1 is the incredible momentum. Flying over holes with ease. And that's what it did right there. Uh, okay. This guy dodge airborne foes attacks. Okay, well. We'll utilize Snakey Boy at some point. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, looks like it's a, a, a bedtime. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, that's not quite right. Uh, yeah, you guys need to come back. I, I, I flubbed that one up a little bit. There we go. Now we have access to this, and we can copy it. Okay. Handy dandy, the wind cannon echo. That is handy dandy. An arcane device that continually blows a strong wind straight ahead that can disperse sand or extinguish flames off. Disperse sand. We have a place for that, don't we? Right here! Apparently, Jiminy Christmas, there's more sand here than the beach. It's fantastic. I might take my shoes off, or I might not. I might just blow rupees out of the friggin' earth and press buttons. But I can't leave just yet because there's too many piles of sand. Look at all the goodies for me. Oh, God. No, I'm blowing myself, and that's not actually very helpful. Ah. Uh, more sand for you. Can I blow you away, buddy? Please stay back. No, don't punch me. He's Jiminy Christmas. He lunged for me with his little... Oh. Hi. Oh, you're bad. You're mean. You're mean. You're mean. I don't like that, Danielle. Save me. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Danielle, you're my only hope against these horrendous whirlwind frogs. Get them. They can't hurt you, but they hurt me. How did that not hurt them? There we go. You got both of them. Very good job. Again. Yeah, slap him. He looked at me funny. Thanks, Danielle. And we got a treasure chest. Very nice. All right. What what are you, you little whirlwind friend? The Tornado. Tornando. Tornando. It's like a name in and of itself. Oh, wait. That's Danielle. Sorry. I need the wind cannon. <laughs> Danielle's like, what do you want me to do? I can't blow sand. I don't have a mouth. I'm literally just a suit of armor. You got a rock. Oh, three rock potatoes. Can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Gross. What? You put potatoes in your drink? What, are you making vodka or something? <laughs> uh, frankly, I thought it was going to be something like, you can bribe a Goron with this. Gorons love to eat rocks. We get another chest here, which is, of course, two more unusual crystals. Very good. Right now, I have eight. Fantastic. Moving along. This was an optional dungeon. Or not dungeon, really, but an optional cavern. I'm very glad we entered. And what's more is we, can we could go back to the other one and get ourselves... Whatever the heck is in it. Ooh, that did not blow me. Nearly as much as I expected to be blown. But we can do this now. So what is this? What is this good for over here? Nothing? Nothing, nothing. Okay. Can I jump this? Let me jump. There's a... F really? No can jump over chasm. The chasm is in... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Incrossable chasms. Incrossable gusts of wind. It's all the same to me. As long as you just go around it. All right? That's the true power of obstacles and overcoming them. Just ignore them. Can't ignore this guy, though. Uh, can ignore that one, for sure. That's the sanctum, I believe, or what looks to be some sort of important place. And... Wait, what? Was this always here? Uh... Why do I feel... I th wasn't I just here? I was just here, wasn't I? No, maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I've passed where the marker is. I guess. What the heck? Let me look at the map. So I want to check out the oasis. This is the cavern I was looking for. So I had the cavern, then I did this, and I went down, I guess? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Either which way. Glad I made it here. What's up? It's not every day I see another Hylian in Gerudo Desert. If you're wondering about that tent, there is a Gerudo researching something or other in the air. I'm sure she could use a hand if you felt so inclined. Might help take your mind off all the rifts. How do you know I'm thinking about rifts? It's like I see your face and it just screams. I'm stressed out about holes. You're right, you're right. And what is this? 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to start blowing. Yeah. If you ever get lost in the desert, make sure to check your map. Though a map won't do you much good in the middle of a sandstorm. Yeah. That, that, that cloak. Oh, apologies for my intensity. You reminded me of someone else. You see, I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. And at the time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. He took out wave after wave of monsters as they swarmed from the rift. It was quite the sight. He's actually the reason I decided to become a soldier. I wanted to be strong like him someday. Oh, look at that. Link inspiring the next generation of viciously violent people. Oh, my God. Um, Deku. What's that? Oh, you a drink boy, huh? Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing, taste but pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. You cannot comprehend the technology of blenders. So come on now, let's get to it. Ready to make a smoothie? Yes, yes please. I like to sell. Of course. Now do I have to pay you? Uh, I, I guess so, the, the rupee count opens up in the top right. So we've got a good amount of ingredients. Ooh, time to experiment. Uh, new smoothie combo. Grapes, apples. You can only do two things. Okay, yeah. Grapes and apples are probably as good of a pairing as any. You got it. Some of this. Some of that. Uh, quite literally, yeah. Just grapes and apples. Mix it all up with a twinsy pinch of... What are you putting in my drink? He said a pinch of what? He's trying to drug me. Your smoothie. Oh, it's cute. You got a refreshing mixed smoothie. View drinks. Let me take a look at this. It, wow. Heals seven. That's incredible. A mix of flavors. Accent the sweet and sour fruit pulp that divines this smoothie. Where's the sour coming from? I guess the, the Granny Smith apple? Hope you like it. I added that recipe to the menu so you'll be able to order the next time you want. Actually, give me an idea. My siblings and I are new to the smoothie. You're new to it, huh? And to keep hold over the market, we're opening branches all over Hyrule. That's right. We're establishing a friggin' monopoly so that no one else, no small businesses can operate inside of our turf. But that, there's been so much work we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts. So what do you say about a joint venture? You make recipes, we handle the business side. You come up with ten receipts out of ingredients from your travels, and we should be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. Oh, before you go, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places, too. We're all sending ingredients from our local regions to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Sure. Now, I... More, more smoothies. Let's craft them up, all right? all right? So we didn't lose any money on that? Fascinating. What if we did a cactus and a grape? New smoothie combo. We could put teeth in it, too. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't notice the, the teeth. I don't know how I'm about grinding up teeth and putting them in my drinks. I get, good for calcium, right? Maybe? Ugh. What did we get for that one? Uh, it looks the same. Refreshing mixed smoothie. Is it the same? It is the exact same, so two fruits is just the same. So it's not an unknown combo at all. Wait, did I just exit out of the continual smoothieing thing? I think I may have. Either which way, it's fine. Uh, so I, that may... Is that just because grapes are in there? Grapes were on the rim of the glass. So if I mix these two, is that something different entirely? Or are they going to just spawn grapes? The smooth This smoothie requires 10 rupees. Oh, does it, huh? I mean, the last one did too, but still. <laughs> He's like, hey, now my labor is not free. It's it's not the easiest thing in the world, pressing go on a blender. Okay, it's a very specific skill that only few wield in Hyrule. This new smoothie is green, and it looks delicious. Mixed apple smoothie. Uh, excuse, I meant to look at that. Whatever, back in this menu. What if we mix rocks and salt? Sounds like the grossest smoothie I've ever had in my life. Potato, a salt potato smoothie? Is that even a smoothie? You guys are like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Put a little butter in there, and we're, you might have something going, all right? All righty. What do you got for me now? Can't be refreshing it. Oh, God, it's hideous. Salted climbing smoothie? The richness of this smoothie enhanced by bracing saltiness. Your wall climb... I can't even... I climb walls? I've never done that before. Not since Tears of the Kingdom. But really, nothing motivates you to climb walls like sucking down some liquefied potatoes, huh? Jiminy Christmas. I'm banned from KFC as a result. All right, what else can we do here? Uh, don't have a very many of those, but how about a, a, a toothy, toothy butter? <laughs> oh, I just love teeth in my butter. Come on, buddy, give me something delicious. Now, climbing, I wonder if that's related to the potatoes or the salt. Ooh, that's more like a, po a radiant potion? Because it's a monster part? Is that what happened? Drinking this rich, slightly bitter potion lets your body naturally illuminate dark places. For five minutes, actually. That's pretty helpful. 
I think that has, so the butter is radiant. So that, okay. Yeah, when used in a drink, it makes the drinker glow. And the monster part just kind of added to it. I don't know. Floral nectar. When used in a drink, it boosts the effects of other ingredients. So I could add these two together and get a longer thing. And I'm guessing the fruit heal. This gives me resistance to cold. Oh, I see. I see. I can read these, huh? This gives you a resistance to fire. Okay. Okay. That sounds good to have. Let's put that with the nectar and we can boost the capabilities because since that grows here, that cactus specifically, I'd have to imagine that there's, I don't know, some amount of hazards in the area that are fire-based or at least heat-based. Oh God. And that's the prettiest one yet. Looks like a friggin' Baja Blast. Heck yeah. Pepsi who, huh? No, Baja Blast originated in Hyrule. Okay, let's do another chili cactus, this time with some salt. Well, no, so we're, we're mixing things. I don't want to do that. So, like, it's uh, when you mix effects, I wonder if it just gives you one, like, healing thing. You know what I'm saying? So let's do the cactus and the tooth. Friggin' gross, but, you know, whatever. Desperate times come for desperate measures, okay? I need to be immune to fire. I'll eat a whole face full of teeth if it's going to help with that. All right, don't at me. Now, I didn't check the first one. Oh, it's garbage? You got an unfortunate smoothie? <laughs> oh, I want my money back. That's your fault. What? I, you took my money. Dude, unfortunate smoothie. It's a bit chunky and smells kind of weird, but technically it's still a smoothie. All right, note to self. Teeth don't go good with fruit. If you want to eat teeth, you mix them with butter. Apparently. So, yeah, the cactus smoothie. 2 HP and only fireproof for one minute. So that is not good. I am going to mix the... Wait, that, that was with the, the Floridian, so that boosted the effect. Wild. All right, what, salt, 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 and watermelon? That's actually a thing that people do. Not not me, but other people are into that. So perhaps this will go over, like, you know, a lead balloon. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, they do have two separate effects. It worked. It worked. A salted cactus. So does that give me two things? Uh, energy recovery is two, and it does fire resistance for... So we got both effects there. Okay, this does have energy recovery in it as well. Okay, so this one's probably the best yet, with three energy recovery, and then a minute wall speed. Two potion only energy. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got 238... I'll, I'll save the rupees for now. We'll come back again, because that's fun. I, en I enjoy cooking, alright? And I also enjoy pilfering chests! This is mine! Oh! Hope you weren't needing these these cacti for your, you know, your smoothie operations. Maybe we'll use them later, but they're mine now. All right, maybe I'll eat them. Maybe I'll throw them in the friggin' water. Maybe I'll just spawn meat in the water because I'm a benevolent princess. Meat for the whole oasis. All right, what's up? Where, where? Facet doesn't know, and she's the chief's aide, so where are they? Where are who? Oh, oh just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm Tormali, an oasis guard. Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with another mission recently. I take it you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. I've seen them in the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far, nothing. Maybe you'll have better luck, though. If you find one, could you bring it to me? A flying tile. Open the log. Side quest. Look at that giblet. Finding the flying plant is what I'm have set. Oh, that's for like side quest. Oh, you can set a side quest and a main quest. Neat. Okay, that's a quality of life update. I love it. What is this one? The tough mango plant laboratory. I do love me some mangoes. All right, mangoes are nice. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna. Don't mind me. I'm getting your bed. Oh, I was hoping it would be a double. The soft bed echo, huh? It's easy to just close your eyes and drift away on this soft, well-maintained bed. Uh, doesn't tell me anything, but I'm inclined to believe, given the fact that it's more expensive to produce, that it'll do better as far as, like, restoration. And for that matter, why don't we just take a nap? Maybe it goes faster than the other one? Yeah, that's still kind of slow. Soft bed, not the right bed, all right? That's too soft for me, said whatever, the three little bears. Hi. Gerudo soldiers and dancers used to rest here, but now it's Torma's base for mango research. Yeah. Torma trusts that Chief Sira will figure out what to do about the rifts here in the desert. So she's keeping her focus on plant research, knowing it'll benefit everyone's future. 
I do I do love mangoes. I love kitties too. Talk to the cat. Very good. I also copy this. This is for me. Wait. It's sparkling though. I wanna Curious about my fan. I'd be willing to part with it if you come talk to me about something else first. Wow, you drive a hard bargain. Sure, what do you want? <laughs> Hello there, wanderer. Welcome to the tough mango plant lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation and preparation for potential food crises. My current field of study is focused on tough mangoes. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. There's just one little problem. This mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest it fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. In response, I've begun enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like from a spin. There's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. You see how I'm collectively crowdfunding? I'm ripping people off! <laughs> oh! I didn't mean to say that. Anyways, would you like to give it a try? Sure. All right, I, I see what's happening here. But, you know, I'll humor you. I'll need 10 rupees for your participation fee. Sure, whatever. I got plenty. Great, head downstairs to the field. and Maybe that's why they're dying. You're growing them in the friggin' dark. <laughs> I mean, I don't know a whole lot about botany in the world of Hyrule, but I'd have to imagine, much like most plants, they need uh, sunlight. Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn up. I'd like for you to harvest 40 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get some home. Let's get started. So too much force. I only know the one amount of force. So what do you mean by harvest? So that was fine. Very good. This is working out splendidly, actually. Very good. Okay, I don't... Yeah, the, the too much force thing kind of tripped me up. Uh, initially, I was worried that I would have to find a way to change how I'm spinning, but you really can't do that. And so far, we're netting 100% of them, so I think getting what we need, the, the 50, we're halfway there, is going to be doable. That one was a little tight, though. Yeah, give me these. Oh, I said give me these. Give me these ones. Perfect. Yeah, we easy. Easy peasy. All right, I can harvest mangoes in my sleep. In fact, I don't know, that time's kind of scary. <laughs> Just uh, sleepily harvesting mangoes. I'd eat them all. Well done. I'm thoroughly impressed. You managed to harvest them all. Thank you for helping me gather such valuable data. Please take a bunch of the tough mangoes. Nice. More drink opportunities. Oh, five? That's not a bunch. I got 10%. This item can be used to recover hearts more effective in a drink. You're the first to harvest so superbly. She's good. Real good. Maybe she can even handle the extra dangerous seeds. <sighs> so actually, I have some vibrant seeds that yield even larger harvests. I have them shelved, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here. I would love to, but now I want this. Can I have it? Curious about my fan? Back before I was deep in my research, I was a pretty serious dancer. I won that golden fan there by placing first in a dance competition judged on elegant choreo. I did the worm for five hours straight. I'd be willing to part with it if you helped me out with Mango Rush. Dever the, the mango maniac, aren't you? Let's do it. So do I get the vibrant ones? Oh, I do. Vibrant seeds it is. Ten rupees, okay? Pony up. Great, head downstairs. Now, what differs? Is there a higher requirement? What, why are they, they sprout sharp thorns? But I'm sure you'll have no trouble. You're, you're thorn-proof, right? Yeah, whatever. You're not allergic or anything. Maybe I could have asked that. 50 or more. So, what does that mean? How do I avoid them? You didn't give me any additional information there, Torma. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go at it. Okay, maybe if we wait too long, they sprout the thorns? Because so far, this is the exact same. Or maybe she's just insane. I guess that she's like, oh, good God, they've got... Oh, that's... Never mind, she's not insane. She's, she's kind of insane, but not wholly. Because that was not... That's not a plant. You got weeds. That's what you have. <laughs> she's like, these are mangoes, right? As she gestures to thorns. she get lost. Oh, give me that. No. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't tell me I need to build friggin' tables. Oh, my God. Well, I screwed with my noodle there. Thankfully, it looks like we could get a maximum of 60, so perhaps I don't need to get every single one. Uh, I'm just going to get these guys so that I get the 50. <laughs> Got 50 out of 60. She stopped me at 50 as well, which is interesting that it puts that 60. Why even put that? Just so I always feel bad. 
No matter what, I always get 10 less than I could. <laughs> Exquisite! I didn't think you'd be able to harvest so many of those seeds. Oh, I'd seen your potential. But thank you. I'll give you my golden fan. I got it a long time ago from a dancing tournament. Did I tell you that? I just told you that, didn't I? You got a golden fan. Just holding this glimmering fan made with golden feathers makes you feel glamorous or... Fanorous? Uh, it sounded better in my head. Very good. Please take the tough mangoes you harvested with all of them? Yes, heck yeah! Uh, no. 10%. I harvested more than that. Don't... Don't gaslight me here, lady. I bet she's capable of harvesting the special ones too, but it's risky. Those can be avoided, right? You've stoked the flame that burns in my wee researcher's soul. The flame of mangoes. Nowhere near the true potential of them, though. I'm going to develop something even more amazing. It may take a little time, though. The sound effects there, did you hear that? It's the same as Cece from Tears of the Kingdom. Hi. Fascinating. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting. So there's more? Yeah. We're kind of at the uh, time limit here, but no. She's not ready for the special ones. Okay, I'm ready for the special ones. I'd love to try the special ones. But in fact, I'll just try to make something with the mango real quick because I am too freaking interested. We got 10 of them. Why not? Mangoes and cacti. They're both local flora, right? They should get along real well. And frankly, a watermelon mango smoothie? Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, put some protein powder in that and you have yourself a friggin' meal. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. A, a mixed tough? I mean, you can call it a smoothie tough. That's a weird sort of textural implication that I don't particularly enjoy. But it's a rich variety of flavors. It heals friggin' 15 hearts, making this fruity, pulpy concoction a treat for the senses, as well as a minute of damage reduction. So that's particularly uh, beneficial. Yeah, I'm good here for now. I will come back soon again, maybe next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, I'll see you tomorrow.